And the last topic uh, we'll cover uh, is total knee uh, metal hypersensitivity. And <clears throat> this in the knee is different than in the hip and generally is a um, hypersensitivity reaction to one of the components, particularly in the knee where one has cobalt chrome implants, which also have nickel and molybdenum. So um, the first question here is 62-year-old woman, advanced arthritis of the knee. Uh, she wants to have a knee replacement, long, light, long history of intolerance to jewelry, probably indicating a nickel allergy. Um, and the first question is the hypersensitive sensitivity to metal implants is classified as what type of, of Gal Coombs reaction? And the correct answer there, and everybody got it right, which is impressive, is a delayed type hypersensitivity reaction, which is cell mediated in this population. Uh, the incidence of it is rare. Um, and the pathophysiology, as we talked about, the type 4 or the delayed reaction is mediated by T cells. And the reaction is usually due to sensitivity to, to nickel. Um, the metal ions uh, from these cobalt chrome devices uh, can be deposited in the soft tissues. Uh, and in fact, uh, they can be an initiator of hypersensitivity reaction. And in the very rare, and I would underline rare case, uh, lead to uh, implant loosening. I think this is uh, probably a rare event, uh, probably getting um, more uh, notoriety than uh, is deserving, but something one certainly has to think about in the rare case where the patient has per persistent pain and swelling. It's a good paper by Josh Jacobs on really uh, metal and metal bearings more in the hip uh, than actually in the knee. <clears throat> patient um, will generally present if this in fact is the case with a history of dermatitis and eczema and other signs of atopic hypersensitivity. They generally have pain. Um, they tend to have persistent and unremitting swelling and stiffness. And the physical exam will often de demonstrate a reduction in, in motion in the knee. Again, the evaluation of these patients, patch taste testing, um, does have, uh, if all uh, the pieces come together, then maybe patch testing has some place. I would just say that uh, this is a non, not necessarily 100% correlative uh, with uh, reactions uh, to metal sensitivity in the knee, and particularly nickel. The lymphocyte um, histopathology can be done. The transformation lymphocyte test can be done. These are other potential ways to look for hypersensitivity, uh, particularly in cobalt, chrome, nickel, molybdenum. Uh, implants. should always rule out infection. Many times we jump to a hypersensitivity reaction in an A that, that is swelling and is persistently um, uh, painful, but think first of infection as a rule, and that's important when you take your test as well. The diagnosis, again, as I mentioned, is somewhat controversial. Patch tests are useful in the patient who is potentially high risks, and it is, again, a diagnosis of exclusion, and I would say relatively uh, uncommonly uh, a problem in most patients. Um, the treatment, <clears throat> if one does document that there is a nickel uh, allergy, which may be promoting a reaction, chronic reaction in the knee, that if you appreciate it before, then the use of a, an implant, like an oxidium implant, which has no nickel, uh, is the way to go, and I've done that on several occasions. In the patients who you identify after surgery and you really feel that's the cause of the potential failure, again, you can convert those to an oxidium device. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.